Welcome back you beautiful people and today is a pretty cool day. It's all about natural hits out on the trail, spicing up that trail. Have you ever noticed a random kicker in the middle of the trail? You don't know where it goes. Have you seen a little kicker on the side of the bank? Have you seen roots that look like kickers? Have you seen a rock that looks like a jump? Well today I'm going to show you a technique on how to use these natural features as jumps and help you spice up a trail. All right, before you start doing gaps, you're gonna know how to bunny hop. You need to know the fundamentals. So it's all about that owl shape when it comes to the bunny hop. You put your body weight down, you're compressing your bike into the ground, then you're pulling up on the bars and then bringing up your bike with your knees, your, your hips. You wanna bring up, curling your feet on those pedals to lift that bike off the ground, place it back down. Before we get too carried away, sending huge gaps, making big, challengeable gaps, you gotta start off small, you gotta build your confidence up to do these sort of gaps because you're coming in really fast, especially if it's a big gap. The consequences are quite high. Let's start small. And this one is basically a pre-hop, but it's a gap. You're smoothing out the trail, and a lot of downhill racers do this. They pre-hop, it's all about the bunny hop technique on this, like I've said earlier. You wanna pre-hop this bunny hop, pull the bike up, you wanna clear this gap here, and you're looking for a natural landing. Here is a natural landing on the other side of this rock, this boulder right here, and that's gonna smooth out this trail. And as soon as you land, then you use that pumping motion to push your bike down into the ground, forcing it forward, gaining a lot more momentum on the trail. But it all starts on a little gap, just like this one. Right, natural gaps with natural landings. I see this roller right here, but when I'm coming into this section, I'm coming in with a bit of a pace. And I'm transferring up onto this rock slab here, missing out all that gnarly stuff. Plus I'm spicing up this little bit of trail by gapping from there to here. Then you move down through here, keeping up high. I'm looking at this rock face right here. Already calculated when I'm looking ahead, I'm looking at this, this is a jump. So when I've landed there, I'm gonna roll through and I'm looking at this rock face. This rock face to me looks like a kicker. It looks like a jump. So launch, I'm gonna launch from here and I'm gonna land down there and then take off into that left-hand corner. Kind of spicing up this little section, but you're just looking for little surfaces like this that look like kickers, which is perfect. Okay, look at this one, right? This looks like a roller. You're coming down the trail, you're introduced with this, you think it's a roller, but I think this is a hip jump, which I can clear onto here. Because you're probably wondering, where is that going? How am I? There's an uphill landing. What? I'm not going to jump that to uphill landing. But if you break open that box, you look at that as a hip. You're coming in with a bit of speed. I'm going to jump from there and land on this bit of rock section here, kind of carrying my speed through, and then down this rocky section and through to the trail. That is a challengeable gap. That is picking out a good gap to kind of control your speed and get a lot more speed out of your trail. All right. Now to get into it, there's another gap up there that I have to clear to get into this. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get a puncture straight coming in. Now I know why there's these marks on these trees. I was so close to these trees. I was flat out through there. That was freaking cool. Whew. Gets the heart pumping. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Look at this one. Okay, so you've got to carry your speed through that turn there. Trail goes here, but you've got this rock feature that everyone kind of like uses a rock wall ride, rock roll thing. But right here, I can see a little takeoff. And from that little takeoff, you can, comp you can progress this gapping technique on natural terrain like this. You can go as big or as small as possible on here. You can land on top, or you can land here. This looks like a little bit of a, a landing. Or if you carry your speed really well out of that turn, you can gap from there and look at this. Here's a landing right here. That's quite big. So I'm gonna have to go quite, you're gonna have to go quite fast to hit that gap to there. But this is natural and it's great because you can use anywhere along here as a takeoff, really, to land on top. I think I'm gonna come in quite high. I'm gonna use this platform here 
And it's a kind of a transfer hip to the left. You don't really want to go straight because you land in the bushes. So I'm going to hit this. It goes quite, it goes big as possible and stay kind of right there. Doesn't matter if you case it, doesn't matter. It's a nice long, long landing. So there you go, rad right little video on how to hit or how to find these natural hits out on the trail to spice it up. Just remember to look before you leap because you don't know what's on the other side and just start off small and it's all about that bunny hop technique. Hopefully this video has helped you out. If you want to see another one of speed versus style, click up here where Neil and I go head to head. Don't forget to hit the globe if you haven't subscribed to the channel because come on, you're missing out. Smash the like, like button if you like this sort of content and I'll see you at the next one.